Today is the official move-in day. It is also time for the apartment review. In my last video, I went and showed you guys all the apartments that I looked at. And I also had you guess which apartment I actually chose. And at this point, I'm convinced that you guys know me a little too well. Because somehow 90% of you actually guessed correctly. I did end up choosing apartment number 8. perfect small apartment that I was looking for. I love the vibes of it so much. It basically checked off everything that I was looking for in an apartment, if not even more. There wasn't a single apartment that I looked at that checked off every single thing on my list. But after weighing the pros and cons of each apartment, I decided that this one would suit me best. Before we begin the moving process, we had to take a moment to officially say goodbye to my childhood bedroom. Very emotional stuff right here. Except I was determined to not cry, so don't expect any tears. We will not be making this emotional. Anyways, we had a very long day ahead of us. I had actually woken up at 6 this day because we had so much stuff to do and I wanted to get it all done in one day. The first thing on our to-do list was picking up the U-Haul that we were renting for the day to try and attempt to take all of my belongings in one go. I had actually recently found a really cute couch on Facebook Marketplace. So on the way to the apartment, we decided to pick that up. Guys, I am so excited. I'm in my new room. We have officially moved in. Every single box that I brought from home, all the furniture that I bought. And as of right now, my living room literally looks like this. an actual disaster. It is so bad. I literally have everything scattered everywhere. I need to take time to organize and unpack everything, which you're going to be seeing in this next part of the video. So one of the first things I did was unbox the mattress that I recently got in the mail. I wanted to make sure that it would be all fluffed out by the nighttime so that I could actually sleep on it and I wouldn't have to sleep on the floor. I'll take on it. So as soon as I finished with that, I needed to begin doing some serious shopping. And okay, I'm not an expert. This is my first time ever moving out. But I thought I should tell you guys some of the things that seriously helped me out throughout this process. Prior to moving in, I had created a ton of lists of things that I was going to need to buy. I created this huge Google spreadsheet with things that I knew I was going to need for my apartment. So the things that I have highlighted in green are actually the things that I knew I already had. The things highlighted in red are the things I knew I was going to need to buy. And then the non-highlighted ones are the things that I didn't have but weren't as urgent and I could just buy these over time. This made my life so much easier. I highly suggest doing this if you plan on moving out in the near future. spent the entire day shopping for my apartment, mainly for essential stuff though, like groceries. I went to Target and Daiso and Ikea, again, just for essential stuff. And I kind of wanted to give you guys a quick little haul. So one of the first stores that I went to today was Daiso and they have such cute stuff there. So first I got a bunch of these cute little towels. We got this like beige one and these two pink ones, all for different purposes, obviously. I got this cute little pink whisk, Orilakuma disinfecting wipes, wooden towel holder thingy, some Q-tips, and this strawberry wax paper. From Target, we got these two pink bowls. Very cute. I needed a big bowl, so I got this like huge wooden one. Got a bamboo drying rack. I had to get a new dry brush because I wasn't able to bring the one that I have at home, and this is like my favorite brush ever. Notice I didn't have any slippers, so I saw these at Target, and I thought they were so cute. We got a broom. We got a pink soap with matching pink sponges. 
Then I got a bunch of other boring things like towels, a knife set. And then from Ikea, besides the furniture that I got, I did also get a few essential things like these pink plates that are the cutest thing ever. I also got these mini colorful bowls, some Ikea utensils, and this chunky knit green blanket. And then the rest of the stuff that I got is mainly just a bunch of groceries, but that is pretty boring. I don't think you guys care to see that. I was thinking though of making like an entire grocery shopping video. I don't know if you guys would want to see See that? Okay, so that officially wraps it up for day one. It is officially going to be my first night here, which I'm super excited about, except I was a little scared of spending the first night here alone. Just because, you know, the apartment's kind of empty. I'm pretty overwhelmed with everything that's been going on. I'm actually having one of my besties come over to sleep here with me. Pretty exciting stuff. But I am so tired. I don't think you guys understand how much I did today. I can literally fall asleep right now. But no, okay. I'm actually going to have this video be in two parts. So you guys just watched day one, but I'm also going to include day two. Tomorrow is going to be mostly dedicated to just building a bunch of furniture because the room that I'm in right now is just filled with a bunch of Ikea packages that I haven't built yet. And I really just want to get that over with tomorrow. So I'm going to get up early to see if I can try and finish building all of the furniture. Since I only have three pieces of furniture, it should be doable. But okay, I'm going to be knocking out soon. Literally sleeping with the mattress on the floor right now you guys can't even see but this is the vibes i'll see you guys tomorrow so in my last video, which you should go watch if you haven't already, I had shown myself Ikea shopping, except I didn't even tell you guys what I bought. I explained in that video that I had basically left all of my furniture in my old room because I shared rooms with my sister and I didn't want to leave her furniture list. So when I went to Ikea, I basically had to rebuy a bunch of the same furniture. So let me give you guys a quick little haul of what I got. First, we got a desk. Very yummy. Second, we got a bed frame. I got this one in particular because it had lots of storage, which was very very scrumptious. Then lastly, I needed a dresser and they had literally sold out on all of the ones that I wanted. So I got this one. Very hot stuff right here. Anyways, like I said, this entire day was going to be dedicated to building all of this furniture. I got up bright and early, six in the morning. And a huge thank you to Mr. Man here for coming and helping me build my furniture. I think we all need to take a moment to appreciate him right now because you will notice throughout these next few clips that he is basically doing all the work. the first dresser, we took a break. I decided to begin going through more boxes and trying to organize as much stuff as possible. We resumed with the furniture building a few hours later and now it was time to build the desk. Eventually, I unpacked all of the boxes with the clothes in it and I began to put it into the dresser. I was so happy because the last piece of furniture that we had to build this day was just the bed frame. We honestly had to take a huge break because we needed to mentally prepare for this. Like, I already knew this was going to take us forever, which, spoiler alert, it did. Oh. 
Um, okay, it is officially the end of the and day. And it has been a very, very long day. Literally, I spent the entire day unboxing, unpacking, building a bunch of Ikea furniture. It has been so, so painful. And just to make it worse, I am nowhere near done. Like, I have so much to do, and I'm determined to finish as much as possible by the end of the night tonight. Right now, I have this huge box filled with a bunch of jackets that are honestly bothering me. Right now, I'm going to be building the clothing rack that I got for my... That officially wraps it up for this video. This is basically what the first two days looked like of the moving in process. And although I was doing a lot of complaining in this video, I am so grateful about the fact that I can officially complain about how annoying the moving in process is. I have been waiting for this moment my whole life, guys. And I know this may get annoying, but this is your weekly reminder that I love you guys so much. I am eternally grateful for all of you that watch my videos.